the last core concept is polymorphism. Polymorphism means many forms. It describes the concept that objects of different types can be accessed through the same interface. Each type can provide its own independent implementation of this interface. We have two types of polymorphism, overriding and overloading. Method overriding is the ability of a subclass to override a method that it inherited from the upper class. The overriding method has the same name, number, and type of parameters, and return type as the method that it overrides. So here we have a class with a child class. So the child class can override the method that it inherited from its parent class. Overriding methods from a parent class is not required. So my class has the option to have its own implementation or just inherit the method as is. Overriding is required when the method is an abstract method from an abstract class. So here we have an abstract class. The method from this class must be overridden. So it is required. Same thing for interfaces. All methods in an interface must be overridden by the implementing classes. Method overloading. Overloading allows a class to have more than one method having the same name if their parameters are different. So here we have an example. We have a class and it's got three methods. And as you notice, these methods have the same name. This is allowed as long as the parameters are different. So this is how overloading works. You use the same name, but the parameters will be different. Okay, so this means that the compute method can be used in different ways. You can use this with two parameters. You can use this with three integer parameters. Or you can use this with two double parameters. You can have as many overloads as necessary for your program. Here in that means let's try to implement overloading. So let's create the MyCal class. Class MyCal will have the first method. So it's going to be public static because of the underline. Return type is int compute and then we have these two integer parameters int a and int b. So we are simply going to perform an addition between the two parameters. I'm going to create another integer variable called c and then we'll simply add a and b. Okay? And then we're going to return c. We made this static so that we don't have to instantiate my calc when we call the compute method. Let's call it from the main method of the main class. In the print line, we're going to call the compute method. That compute. Let's add 5 and 6. Say so we build and run. We're going to get 11. So if we try to add another argument, of course, it's going to give us an error. Because our method at the moment only accepts two arguments. I'm just going to duplicate this. Copy, paste. So it's going to give us an error because it's an exact duplicate of the first one. But if we change the parameters, we're going to add another int variable. That's it's going to be acceptable. We just have to change the body. A plus B plus C. Okay. So as long as the parameters are different, it's okay to reuse the names. So this is overloading. We build and run. Don't forget to change the return value. Build and run. We're going to get 18. Let's write the last overload. I'm simply going to duplicate duplicate the last one and change the parameters. This will be double. Double. Delete the last one. Okay, so we have incompatible types. So the diagram says integer, but since we're using double, we want to return double. Okay, and we can just update the diagram. Let's build and run. We're gonna get 18. 
still so let's add some decimal values in there build and run so here we have an error because we have a double double and an integer so if you write it this way it's going to use the one with three parameters so we wanted to use the last one and this one only has two parameters we need to remove the last argument so now we only have two double values in here when we build and run it's going to use this one it depends on the argument that you supplied so whichever method matches the number of arguments and the data types will be used when you run the program.